heavy and thundery downpour. All of us, though, a few exceptions, notably through this afternoon across the southeast, staying mostly fine. And over the next 24 hours or so, it really is southern counties which gets the lion's share of the sunshine and a lot of showers again tomorrow further north. The satellite picture shows the clusters of shower cloud moving in from the southwest over the last few hours. The clouds getting deeper and thicker and producing some pretty heavy showers right now. And through this afternoon, there will be a whole rash of showers, some more prolonged rain in some places, which I'll talk about in a moment. The southeast seeing the best of the sunshine, but not the southwest. Through this afternoon, mid-afternoon, some really heavy and possibly thundery showers across southwestern parts of England. Up through Wales as well, perhaps some more prolonged rain across the north and west. Yes, the risk of some hail and some thunder. A cool afternoon, 14 or 15 degrees. Now, yesterday we had some flooding in parts of Belfast. The risk is there again. The Met Office has issued a severe weather warning for eastern parts of Northern Ireland. For Scotland as well, we're not getting away with it. Some fairly sharpish showers dotted around. Limited brightness, and as a consequence, it is quite cool. Again, 14 or 15 will be fairly typical. Down across Northern England too, perhaps a period of more prolonged rain pushing across northern counties for a time, some storms kicking off across the Midlands. But as I mentioned at the start, parts of East Anglia and particularly the South East, wondering what all the fuss is about with there plenty of dry and bright weather and temperatures approaching 20 degrees. But for most, it's going to be a showery end to the day. The showers rumbling on into the night in some places, some patchy rain lingering across parts of Wales, northern England, up into southern parts of Scotland as we go into the early hours too. A drier to the north and to the south, turning misty as temperatures bottom out at around 8 or 9 degrees. So a rather grey start for some of us. The mist will lift. We'll see some brightness developing. But yet again, we'll see showers developing once more as well. Quite widespread again by the afternoon, the risk of some hail and thunder. But as I mentioned at the start, southern counties escaping with a, a largely fine day with some sunshine. And here, the best of the temperatures as well, approaching 20 degrees, but more typically once more, 14 or 15 degrees. Of course, we've got some cricket taking place tomorrow, where England taking on the Windies at Headingley for the one day. There will be some showers around, possibility of some interruptions. You can catch the action, of course on the BBC. A sneak preview to the start of the weekend. Scotland and Northern Ireland seeing some showery rain, perhaps Northern England too. The best of the sunshine looks like being further south. Come rain or come shine, do send us your weather pictures. We'd love to see them. Weatherpics at bbc.co.